How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. The question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Hi guys, welcome to Biomutant. This game just came out recently. Played it on stream for a little bit. Loved it. And so I decided I wanted to have it on my YouTube channel. Because my YouTube channel is a way for me to force myself to finish games. And I want to do it. Welcome to Biomutant. Hey, little bug. It's like the intro. <coughs> so now I am going to design my character. It'll take me a little bit. I'll just jump forward for when I have him. All right, so I have my little guy created. There he is. Dead eye class, did his fur and everything. I think he's cute. Let's start the story. Here's somebody with a troubled past. He into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Seems more like you're being light-headed if you ask me, but you'll come around, eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So, it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, and survival of the strongest, and so forth. Now, if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. I'm going to try to be good. Somewhat light. I want to be right good. Right is always right. I want to be a good little raccoon mutant or whatever I may be so I've done through this first part so I know what I'm doing at least I like to think I would do a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others oh. I'm much further away I went the other way last time mute does mute do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. All right, roll. Did it. Bro. I'm not facing him though. Ha <laughs> ha. Melee. Knock his knees out. Whoops, missed. 
I didn't do well with Perry. Yep. Got it. I don't like to parry very much. There we go. We split his little cudgel. Just like in the cutscene at the beginning. You better make a run for mm -hmm. it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The last time I played this on stream, last night, the night before I'm recording this, I was on the other side of the arena and I had to bob and weave my way all the way to the thing to get in there. This time I was right up against it and it sucked me right in. Alright, so let's see what I can remember from the stream. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Uh, yep. Couldn't get the reload right on my thing either. more. Thought I was done. Alright, so do I have anything for me to harvest? Collect? I did play it on easy on stream. There's a car right there. Just to get the feel of it, I am playing it on medium. So I wanted a little bit of a challenge. We'll see how well that goes. I loved playing it. Oh, what was that thing up there? It was just a light. So I thought, I want this on my YouTube channel because I want to finish this game. Ooh, an electric module. I don't remember. Let's see, equip. Alright. Oh, I had so much fun. Alright, I want to go. Medic bag. Yay. We got our first tampon <laughs> I'm gonna go in here before I go up the chain oh we're gonna inspect the toilet oh well, that's better at least it's in a sealed bag see we got another little bandage that's disgusting to pull a bandage out of a toilet and use it as a healing thing. Whoops. Alright. Oh, this game is so pretty. And it's just so much fun. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment. Oh, hello, Biggie. Evolution has its ways. Ah. Yeah, I know. I'm not good at parrying. You got a gun, too? Uh, 
I can't pick that up. So you, tickling toffee. And there's more people around here. They die underneath them. All right. Let's move on. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Pick up the barrel. Ha ha. Whoop, nope. Oh, you pulled the barrel out of the ground. Reload. No, I wanted to shoot the barrel in his hands. I think that'd be funny. go. So he got caught up in the explosion a little bit. And let's see. Anybody else? Nobody else? It's just so pretty. I got sludgy stuff down there. Alright. Go through another door. Lots of doors in the beginning here. That's all right. It's so pretty. And it feels good. The combat feels really good. I just wish I was better at it dodging. Which I'm not. That's blocking. That's dodging. Uh, oh yeah, the shield guy. <laughs> Yeah, save, not good at dodging. He's using a car door as a shield. I shoot you in your ass. Whoop. Die. I was going to do a special move to get into him and just to whack him in his knees. There we go. He's a big guy using a car door as a shield. Anyone else? Oh, I hear something. There you are. Bushes and you're dead. My little guy. Aw. Hi, level two. Dandy candy. Alright. Anyone else? Oh, you're not going to let me go through that door yet, huh? Box from the once was a rare sight. Ooh, it's a crowbar. Yeah, it's about as big as me. Here. 
is so pretty. I just want to walk around and explore everything. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Nothing else. All right. Oh, I gotta hit a button with X. I, I said I have to hit it multiple times. Okay. My bad. Jump. Whee. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Okay. Double jump. I know how to double jump. That I can do. Have a hard time parrying and dodging, but I can double jump. The morphs produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. Including you. Oh no. Hold on to that. Oh, I, I leveled up a while ago and I didn't do anything about it, did I? Huh. Alright. I should probably. I should probably do something about that, huh? Alright, so, leveling up. Alright, so we can add 10 points to anything. Vitality, strength, intellect, agility, charisma, and luck. I always start by adding it to vitality. Um, I want help. <laughs> yep, I want help. And we got upgrade points. Close combat. We could do those we've unlocked. Oh, let's see what was the raised. Yeah, let's do close combat. Do we have any uh, for fists that we can unlock? Gives you a little preview of what it is. That's uh, unarmed. Wicked Wolf. XXY. We'll unlock that. Alright. We got a special combo. Mutations. Oh, I have mutations. Uh, so I need to go. Where's my uh, mutations? Let's see. Biogenetics. Moth mouth. It's a single line spray of vial, or this is everybody. And a range. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll help with close combat. And then I need to select the button I'm going to assign it to. Assign it to Y. So now we need to hit left trigger to use the special abilities. I think I'm done. Should probably save, huh? Alright, so we leveled up. Got some mutations. Time to see what's above. Yep. And we're gonna go and we're just gonna do Oh I know because I did this on stream. Oop, I didn't I just jumped way too soon. Alright. Don't let go. Yep. I did. I forgot here. After you do it once, he automatically grabs it. 
there is a chest. Can I do a little wall run on that or something? There we go. Right there, see? Small health pack. Now that, that is a tampon. Alright, so let's go back up now where we're supposed to go. Now we, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Come on, little buddy. Big cutie. This is all just the tutorial stuff, getting used to the game and the controls and what you need to do and whatnot. Boy, is it pretty and fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna look up the sign. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs travel through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Oh. And how did it work out for them, huh? Not so good, I think. Alright. Okay, here we go. Now we have puzzles. So, you need to light them up, so white to white, yellow to yellow, there we go, and you have so many moves to do it in. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead assuming that it would sink and decay with time and they were right but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold once in the surf the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring it had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem the world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated it would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. All right, mankind screwed up, destroyed nature. Got it. It's the same old story, right? But it made this cute little guy. Or going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The fox looks <laughs> like a potential brain melt. Yeah, I think I can handle it. It's going okay. to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few minutes. Whoops. It can count. Oh, I sp spun it the wrong way. I was in trouble, but I got it. Because I'm on medium, they're just a little bit harder than the uh, easy I was doing on stream. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The wheeled one. Pang pang. Pang pang. Uh, oh, 
special attacks. Yep. Wicked wolf. There we go. Get all these guys. Don't hit me! I'm helping! Because I don't want to get in the sludge. Whoops, where are you? There he is. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Well, I'm gonna loot the bodies first, if that's okay with you. Get that. Get that. Big ideas. You get that. Uh can't loot you. Oop, I can loot you. Dandy candy. Is that all of them? Aw, oh, oh, there's the shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Alright, so I can't go up the rope just yet. I'm going to talk to that guy first, and that's going to set off a whole chain of events. Just want to make sure I got everything in here. We'll go through this door and we'll talk to the roly guy right over there and continue on with the story. Bye, guys.